Right, we've been working hard on the Chally one, um, and I would say we've been making good progress. Obviously, it's been very, very wet here. Um, but we've been trying to put aside a few hours every day. Uh, there's a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. But we're aiming to get a video out for this weekend. So if you're excited to see that, make sure you like this video um, and subscribe to the channel for future content. I'm well, um, we've taken the deck off this scimitar. Now, this scimitar's been with us a while. Not that we've touched it. Now, we haven't touched it, but it's no. definitely been touched. Oh, it's been touched, probably as a child, but uh, yeah. You like a project? I've disconnected the uh, little radiator stop bracket. And it still won't move? Uh, I can... Oh yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I suppose you want a hand with that. It'd be nice. Uh, sorry bud, have we, have we uh, awoken you? Oh. Handbrake bands. Oh great. Oh, no, the bands look, are in. Look, it's just look, this... it's clean. Oh, wow. And, and... Above the mark, it's actually high. However, the big uh, question on a scimitar like this. Oh, oh, not bad. I would, uh, I would check the coolant level as well. I'm having problems getting it in the hole. There we go. Um, yeah, I would check the coolant level. However, it's missing its coolant pipe, so that's a bit of a waste of time. It did come free with a bird's nest in the turret, though. Did it? What yeah. what breed? Uh, great tip. Nice. Right, so we're going to put the shafts in. I've lined it up. The gubbin's right at the bottom, though, so it's not the nicest position. Tom, have you got your whacking utensil ready? Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah. I'll, I'll give me some. I'll grab it. Yeah. Right, so I've got to reach down here. Oh, it's about lined up, I think. And the, the trick is you've got to like lift the shaft a little bit. So start whacking. Oop, hold it there. That doesn't sound like a hammer, Tom. You only said whacking utensil. I just picked up the first thing I could find. Oh my god. That is the purest granite. Whacking again. I've gone a little bit far now. Hold it, hold it. Alright, and again. About the wiggle, all right, go on. And there you go, that's in. The pins come back up. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that is an Apache. It's scary how quiet that is. Yeah. Now, I've, I don't know why he's here. What do you think he could be looking at here? Um, Maybe our duck down the field. Maybe. Do you reckon it was all the shells we were, you know, firing at them? Maybe. Yeah, they're not like laser pointers, do they? No. Or maybe the, it's the, uh, the abundance of Russian tanks sat down the bottom. Who knows? I mean, what reason would they have to look at Russian tanks? Beats me. So, the plan for today I think Tom's playing with a scimitar, and I've got a little Samaritan to look at. Now, there's lots and bits of bobs missing. Um, so I've got a big bag of tools. This is the easiest way to carry it, I've got to be honest. Um, well, basically, I need to put that back together. Now, the main starting cable has literally been just cut in half, and so much stuff is missing. So we're just going to keep putting that back together, really. I don't know where he's got up to, but... Uh, there's definitely a project, definitely a project here. But all in all, I think it was quite a low hours engine, around the 600 hours mark, which, you know, on a coming 6BT, it's just nothing. Before we've got it, it's had very, very new final drives put in. And so I would imagine that that's why it's all stripped out. Um, but obviously, you've just got to put it back together and pray, really. Yeah, now I'm no expert. But I would say that that is seeing better days. So I'm going to have to source another one. I don't have any joiners. Um, but to be honest, I don't think I really want to join it anyway. Now, I'm assuming this little sheet is to say that it is, uh, it's been cleaned. 
Where's the Trump's one? It's come from Canada, so it definitely needed cleaning. Um, so hopefully that means they've emptied out the bog in the back. Now, am I going to check? No. I'll take their word for that. Now, looking at this uh, dog kennel, I'm going to assume that the drive shaft that's in the bits in the back um, absolutely cracked itself. Because that has been mullered. So we'll have to do something with that and uh, I'll probably get another drive shaft for it. Right, well, really I just want to check the start on how it works. I thought if you're turning it over you might as well start it just for a little bit. Um, this is where we've got a good engine and all our electrics are good and stuff like that. Most importantly, make sure we stop it. Oh, the indicator. Uh, well, this side isn't. Right. No. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, it looks promising. The drive shaft's in, everything's bolted up, um, secure with this wiring, and I, to be honest, I think this is going to need a, a bloody good steam clean before we put the deck back on, but I'm happy enough to get it all driving first, um, and then we can test, you know, to make sure all the gearbox is working properly and all, all that important stuff, um, then we'll clean it and make it look all beautiful. You need to bleed the brakes. Um, now what you find is to probably the uh, pretty crusty nipples on these so uh, rather than snap them off if you just do a little bit of tighten a little bit that moves and it should come out nicely lovely stuff do the other side again this, uh, this looks quite new this one but i'm still going to do it there we go a little bit tighten Saves you snapping your nipples. And yes, I am sat cross legged on top of the gearbox. And the bumping. Oh. It's looking like that master cylinder that might be absolutely ghost well that was a very disappointing result that means i've got to take all the floor up um and take the brake mast in around i don't know if we've got to replace one so i might have to rebuild one uh, but yeah well unfortunately the main brake mast cylinder is ghost now it was missing a main brake gearbox pipe um like gearbox side brake pipe which i made one up fitted that now that was not a lot of fun with uh with the gearbox in and this corner piece in but we soldiered through next job i'm going to take this out and rebuild the master cylinder she's now out now basically you pull the end off and there's some seals in there and you got you gotta basically replace them seals and make sure it goes up and down the shaft nicely well, it looks like tom's been making some progress he's uh Put together all the handbrake and stuff like that, and they are a truly horrible job. It looks like he's done all that. Um, yeah, come along, that you screaming up and down the yard in no time, right? Well, we're making pretty good progress. Um, I think we'll leave it here for the rest of the day, to be honest, um, and come back to it tomorrow. I want to bleed up the brakes properly. I've just put on the mask cylinder after it's been rebuilt, and it's and it's taken a bleed. And it seems lovely, but I can't get a proper bleed on it by myself. And uh, that being, my arms aren't long enough. How's our Tom's ready to start? Oh, the world's most expensive jump pack strikes again. Are you confident? Um, yeah. He's got a tub of shiny bolts. That's always a good sign. 
I might need one of those. Hmm. Hmm. Right. The moment of truth. Here we go. Good sign. Woo! Woo! Looks promising. Now, what you might notice, it's moved under its own power. Um, I've not taken out through the gears, I've not put the seat in, not put the wall in. But basically I want to get it hot and I want to drive it. You know, make sure all the gears are working up, up to probably up to fifth and sixth. Um, which would be difficult standing up on this sort of stretch. How are you going to launch your smoke grenades now? Well we don't send them with smoke grenades, do we? Uh, ignore that. I did think about putting that one on the list of things to do, but uh, well, it's a bit of a pig to work on, so not today. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. Um, I'm just going to leave it running for an hour or two. Um, let it get hot, see if any coolant pipes are going to burst. But I, had, I took it up to fourth. I didn't go to fifth, but usually what breaks is fourth. You have to take these bloody mud flaps off. All caught up in the track, makes horrible sound. Um, but yeah, it drove nice actually, it drove quite nice. But it's, it's hard to determine until you get the seat in and stuff like that. I'm just checking that the basics work. Um, you know, gearbox, engine, tillers, stuff like that. Right, well, she's now in the workshop and I've got to be honest, she drove quite nicely. Um, I finished putting everything back together, the decks on, seats in, um, everything's bled up. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way it drove. I think that was what, a day and a half or two days ish to get it fully complete. Um, yeah, it's going nice. Now, this bin box was all dented in and smashed up and I couldn't get it open. And I thought, that one's empty. And that one's empty. That one's going to be empty as well. So I didn't go through the hassle of getting it open. I thought I'd leave that job for someone else. Turns out all the goodies I wanted and all the goodies I went and collected throughout the day were in there everything I needed um, but yes we've done it now and we've got the we've replaced them night shift is here ready to do a pucker job get it done well the million dollar question has a baby loadal got the grunt to pull this forward do a 90 degree turn and back it into there I suppose the bigger question is have I got the ability to that is yet to be answered see how it goes It does look like there might have been a casualty. The wind has blown. Oh, I think we got lucky. Oh, my camera bag survived. 
Right, right, well, I've got my deck all strapped on, all the bolts are out. I suppose it's time to lift it. If I remember correctly, Ooh. there was a. Uh, I mean, it is quite a high hour engine, 4,000 hours, but it's still not a lot. I think it's been basically cooked. So if you look in there, I mean, it's just full of oil. And this will probably have a load of water in it. Yeah, oh, lovely. Um, so, yeah. Now I might try and get it running just to see if I'm getting pressure here and that'll tell me if it's, you know, if it's the oil cooler that's failed or if uh, the suspected head gasket or the head's cracked or something's warped. Well, it's a bit of careful play at the start of it, that's what it's going out. It started up and it's running very well. I'm not seeing bubbles come up. It's hot, it's really hot. Um, so potentially we could just be looking at a blown oil cooler. So I think I'm going to take, take that off once it's cooled down. Um, I'll take it off. lovely um but this is my pet bloody peeve the spacer goes in the middle not on the end because look how close that is to your throttle if you've got big feet you're bollocks so i'm going to change this around because it really grinds my gears there we go that's a bit better jolly good well i took my oil cooler out and I thought we'll pressure test that so I put it in a big bucket of water and I got some air lines and I blanked off this side of the compression tester and uh, stuck the air line in it and I took it up to around 70 psi which is a lot of pressure um, far more than the engine's ever going to be and uh, we didn't see any bubbles or any sorts now my next thinking is because I don't I think the engine runs quite well so before I condemn the engine um, when I look at this gasket, obviously some of it's stuck to the block and some stuck to this, but I'm seeing traces up there, and obviously these are your oil ports. So I'm wondering if oil has squirted up through here, past the gasket, and basically got into the coolant that way. So I've got a new set of gaskets on order. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll completely flush all the cooling system. I'll take this rad off, um, flush all the engine, get everything spotless again, and then... We'll try it again. All we, all we can do is thrash the bollocks off it and see if it see how it holds up. Yeah. I'll have to I'll have to do use one as a daily driver to work and back every day for a month. <laughs> 